Jesse Tyler's with us today, of course, a fantastic impersonator of Taylor Swift. And we are going into spooky season, so you've got some fun events coming up. What are you looking forward to this Halloween season? So this Halloween season, um, this Friday, uh, we have, it's not so much spooky, but we do have uh, Taylor Swift's Midnight's release party in the Arts District downtown Las Vegas, uh, hosted by the one and only J. Joe Lee from RuPaul's Drag Race and Dragula. Wow. And is that someone you're excited to perform with? I cannot wait. I started doing drag as a Taylor Swift impersonator if she were a drag queen. Um, and here I am three years later, full circle, working with my idol. So I'm very excited. <laughs> that is so awesome. Well, we have some other events coming up later on this season, the spooky season, we'll say, uh, coming up on October 30th at the Palms. Are you going to be doing Taylor with a spooky twist? We will be doing Taylor Swift and Taylor Swift with a little bit of a spooky twist. I love it. That is so good. Now, what do you love about Taylor Swift? What, you know, out of all the folks you could have impersonated, you chose this particular entertainer. Taylor Swift was one of those artists who I connected with growing up. Um, the, you know, through school, through relationships, she was the only artist that um, I could really listen to her music and put it into my life and what I was going through and get through it, so. Wow. So what advice would you give to someone who maybe wants to break into the entertainment business or even do impersonations like you do? I think one of the biggest things that I struggled with was um, taking in too much criticism um, and influence from other people. Um, I would just say be true to yourself. If you are passionate about something and someone is giving you advice against it, go for it. Do, do what your heart feels is right for you. Otherwise, it's just gonna prevent you from doing what you want to do. Now, you don't just do Taylor Swift. What other kinds of drag or performances do you do? Um, so outside of Taylor Swift, I do regular, regular drag. Uh, the big Texas hair, we call it Barber Girl drag. Um, I'm. When I'm in Taylor and when I'm doing Jesse, it's like two completely different people. When I'm doing Taylor, I'm more reserved and quiet and composed. And when I'm, you know, doing Jesse, I'm more outgoing. I'm more fun. I talk a lot more, um, a, a lot louder for sure. Yes, and you said that big Texas hair because you got your start down in Texas. Is that right? Yes. And how is it being here in Las Vegas? It's it's actually really fun um, because Las Vegas has drag queens from all over. Mm -hmm. um, so you see a little bit of Texas, you see a little bit of California, New York, kind of all over the place. So it, it, it's one of those cities where any type of drag truly flourishes. So I hear that you have a performance coming up at the Westgate. Tell us about that. Um, our residency starts in February at the Westgate Casino Resort. I'm very, very excited. You'll be able to see myself as Taylor Swift, among other illusions. Um, and of course, we'll have Cher, um, Tina Turner, Whitney Houston, Diana Ross. It's going to be so much fun. All the favorites. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, thanks for stopping by and sharing with us about your experiences and also the fun things that you have coming up with your career. Of course, it was a pleasure. Thank you for having me.